Welcome back to the Verify Build. We are today joined by Piers from Valent, and he is confident that using the Senso Home is so easy that even a chimp like myself can use it. So Piers, do you want to just explain what this can actually do, first of all? Is this just a similar to a regular stat that you'd normally have just on a wall? one of those dials, or is it a lot more than that? It is the same, but with bells and whistles. From already. an end user's point of view, this simply controls when your heating is on and what temperature it's gonna come on to. The biggest difference, however, is that this communicates to the boiler differently and brings a lot of efficiency benefits. I've noticed it's wireless. Battery powered? It is battery powered. Batteries are in the back. If anyone was watching the channel when Lee installed it, he connected these little white things on the bottom. It seemed like it was just so easy to install plug and play. I assume that the, the setup for that was just the same and it's just as easy for me to use. Absolutely. The Senso controls, including the Senso Home, are factory paired to their receivers, which as you mentioned is the box that clips on the underside of the boiler, and that's plug and play. So it's dead simple. Plug that underneath the boiler, plug it in, and this is ready to go. You're gonna set me a challenge right now to try and use the Senso Home and set a schedule. What else can I do? So when you first turn it on, it'll ask you a series of questions, and those questions basically lead to some predetermined times and temperature set points to suit the answers to the questions that you've given. Someone had an email. So the first thing I'm noticing right now is it's not responding to me. Why does it not look like it's on? So we mentioned that it's battery powered mm -hmm. and to essentially make the batteries last as long as possible, it goes to sleep. To wake it up, we simply press the button that's on the top and it'll come to life. Ooh, as if by magic. And how long will that screen stay on before it turns off again? Usually 10 to 15 seconds. What shall I do? We're gonna change your weekly planner. So it's asked you some predetermined questions, which mm -hmm. has populated the programming within the control. So we're gonna go in and make a change to it. Now what you'll notice is that there's only a limited amount of green lights on the display at any time. Yeah. And that basically stops you from pressing something that has no function. So it's described as touch screen, it's touch sensitive. So you can only press the bit that's illuminated. To confirm, it's the buttons that are touched, not the actual screen itself. Correct. Right? If we go into the menu first of all, so by pressing the three lines together, that will give you three main options. You can control what's going on. You can look at information. We can go into the settings. Now, because we want to change the way it's being controlled. By the way, this is really responsive, which is nice. It's not like it's sluggish and I'm like swiping and then it moves around. This is actually, as you would expect, a modern touchscreen device to work with. Yeah. Something else that's cool is that it's got three ways in which you can navigate. So you can either tap, scroll, or hold. Oh yeah. You guys have thought of everything on this one. We're going to the control and then we press the tick and then go down to your zone, which is your heating. Are some of these going to be more installer focused? Yes. Then if you go to your weekly planner and then you've got your days of the week. So that currently shows you the block in which that is operating for. So it'll give you the start time and the end time. So if you select the day that you want to make a change to and you can add a time period or you can modify one that's already in place. Now I've noticed that yours is on from six till 10 at night at 14 <laughs> degrees which basically means that it's off. So if you want to modify that one, it will give you your start time, but you can change that by scrolling. Again, if you mention you can tap it, and if you try holding it, it'll scroll through as well. Once you've decided which time you want to select. Let's do nine, time to go to bed, about 8.30. Really? Now, quite interestingly, a lot of people set the target temperature quite high. What do you think would be a sensible temperature? So my heating at home is, I think I have it based at about 19 degrees. When we put it on, we normally have it to go up to about 21 degrees. My heating at home is set to 19 degrees when it's on, and my setback temperature is 16. And the setback temperature is based at the coldest it will let the house get. Let's get it a bit toasted, 20. Okay. <laughs> a balmy 20 degrees. And then I can just copy settings to whichever the day of the week you want. How many times a day would you like your heating to come on and off? Isn't it just gonna be on the whole time? Not necessarily. So some people will have it to come on in the morning and then go off through the day and then come back on in the evening. Yeah. yeah. Some people will have it to come on in the morning, then at lunchtime and then again in the evening. It's all dependent on individual needs. These controls can do up to 12 time slots a day. So how do I do that? So if you go back into your weekly planner and select your day and then add a time slot and then you can just add another one in. You can do up to 12 different ones a day. Now the other thing as well is that you don't always need to go into that menu to make a change. Let's say your routine had changed for some reason and you decided you wanted to pop the heat on for an hour. If you come back to the very first display that we saw, you'll notice that the slider is actually illuminated. You can quickly override it to either turn it up or down so you can turn the heating on or off within those time periods as well. Yeah, and we can choose that for the next few hours or permanently valid for all time periods. So yep. that's gonna override everything. Yes. Let's just give it a boost. Oh, nice, okay. 
So you can do it for half an hour as a minimum, or all the way up to, I believe it was 12 hours as a maximum. The Senso Home is really easy to use and control. Great to have a physical unit within the house itself, but it's 2024. Everyone's got a smartphone. Is there a way of controlling either this or the boiler with our phone without the need to use this as well? The MyValent Connect Gateway connects to the MyValent app. And essentially this works now as an app alongside your sensor home. And you can access that from anywhere. You don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi or anything. You could be out of the house and control everything. Yep, so the gateway connects to your Wi-Fi itself and then this connects remotely through the internet. And then can you just quickly run through the type of controls that you can expect to see just on that app? I assume it's got everything that's on here, but if you can just give me a quick tour. Pretty much, yeah, it's slightly different interface as you can imagine because obviously it's a different thing. Yep. In simple terms, you can turn the temperature up and you can turn it down. You can change the duration of time that you're gonna override it for. You can also look at your mode that the appliance is gonna be working in. So for example, if it was summer or you were going away, you can actually turn the heating off. So it offers quite a few different options through an app as well. And can multiple users log into the same account. As long as um, you connect it and you give permission through through the account, then absolutely no problem. Depending on what system you've got it connected to, you might want to look at your energy usage. So you can go into the information, and there's a variety of, of different parameters that you can look at for your heat and your hot water. So it gives you an overview of what kind of energy you're using as well. We can all look at what the boiler's doing at the moment, which in this instance is nothing, mm -hmm. but this shows you what it was doing. So it's Nice, really so it keeps a record of it all as well. Yeah. Is there any integration with Alexa or Apple HomeKit? Yeah, absolutely, you can work with both. Piers, what you've shown me today proves just how easy this Senso Home is. The, the boiler, the interface on the screen, the control through the app, if anyone wants to find out more information, where do they need to go? Lots of information available on the Valent website. If you're an installer, you can book a training course that will go through a lot more of this in a lot of detail. We also have a YouTube channel, so there's lots of videos available for customers and users. If you want to check out anything that's been shared in today's video, links will be in the description. Subscribe to Valent's channel as well. Also subscribe to the Verified Build channel, and we will see you all in the next one. We got there.